One of the most as important aspects of our life is the family environment and when we deal with different situations within our family we need to make sure that we apply this message of peace and respect in our family. What I would like to talk about today is the situation when a difference or conflict arises between parents and children and it is an important situation where it needs to be dealt with in the most respectful and efficient way to have to prevent to avoid bad consequences. Many times if these arguments get over out of hand, they can lead to hurtful feeling, they may even develop mistrust between parents and children and also they can even lead to misunderstanding of the underlying concept of principle of religion or anything that we are discussing. Parents and children both need to understand that when they are dealing with these differences and conflicts within the family environment, there are very specific etiquettes that they need to follow and those etiquettes if followed properly will lead to good outcome in a very efficient manner. Today I would like to discuss three things that if we follow we will be able to resolve these differences in the most efficient manner. The first and foremost is the respectful environment. Parents and children both need to understand that when they have differences and conflicts, they need to maintain a respectful environment within themselves. Parents need to deal with their children in most compassion and lovely environment, whereas children also need to have utmost respect for their parents. In Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that all children have to be respectful to their parents and not even say a single word of disrespect to their parents. Also Prophet وسلم, if we take the example of Prophet, he was never disrespectful to people. Even people who would disrespect him or who would hurt him, he was always respectful and honor to them. So also when we are dealing with these conflicts and differences we need to make sure that we are patient and this has two different aspects that I would like to mention. Also parents and children need to be patient while discussing these differences so they can give each other opportunity to explain and express themselves without understanding the background and reasoning for each other it will be very hard to resolve these conflicts in a most efficient manner. Also, uh, parents and children, both parties need to be very respectful in the sense that they would allow any positive outcome to come from these uh, differences and arguments. So parents also need to understand that maybe there will be an outcome which they may not like. Children may also need to understand that their outcome may be something that they may not agree with. So the uh, point of the discussion should be to uh, agree on an outcome no matter who it uh, uh, agrees with and the, both parties need to be need, need to have humility and patience to accept the outcome so many times when parents and children are going through these uh, discussion they get angry they enter into an emotional argument and that can also prevent from a positive and effective outcome so both parents and children need to understand that they should uh, deal with these differences in the most cool minded and peaceful manner if they get angry maybe they can uh, take a break Pro and we can we have to remember the hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that a strong believer is not the one who is physically strong and is able to knock down someone really fast but a strong believer is the one who can control his or her anger. Also Prophet ﷺ suggested some action that we can do when we are angry. He mentioned that if you are standing you should sit down, if you are sitting down you should lie down or make wudu. So we should follow these recommendations when we get angry. We should maybe discuss a different topic at that time or just change the subject and postpone this discussion to a later point so we can address these conflicts in the most effective manner. So in summary I mentioned three things that we should follow when we are discussing differences or conflicts within our family. Patience, respect and avoiding anger and emotions and if we follow these inshallah we will be able to achieve a positive and effective solution to our differences and finally we can always seek help if we if we can't agree on something maybe we can find a wise person from the community or a good neighbor who can deal with the situation and help us resolve the issue so i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah gives us wisdom to deal with these differences and gives us blessing in this month of ramadan